Welcome back to another episode of Please Play It, the series in which I implore you to... Please play it. Sometimes you just need a break from all of the explosions, the grand leaps, the gravitas of emotional character arcs, and just... everything. Growing up, for me that escape was Lionel Train Town Deluxe. Part edutainment, part train game, and part cheesy. That's a fender bender! It was just fun to get away from everything else and direct some trains on the tracks. Maybe someday I should do a video about this, actually. Eh, we'll add it to the list. So having such an attachment to Train Town, I was pretty thrilled when I heard about Train Valley 2 on Steam and requested a copy to cover it on my channel. Thanks, Flasm. Hope I'm saying that right. These guys have actually been making train games for a while. You can see how far they've come since their 2008 release, Railway Valley. It's really impressive seeing the difference against their newest game. Train Valley 2 is simple, and you can pretty much tell what it is just from a glance at it. You direct trains to buildings. These trains will either carry workers to produce resources, or transport resources to places that will craft different resources. When a train drops off a worker or resource, you gain money, which you can put toward building new train tracks, bridges, tunnels, or even upgrading your trains to move faster and carry more as they move. It's a simple game on the surface, but there are five stars you can earn on each of the game's many, many missions that all have specific requirements to unlock. The first three of these are generally to just beat the mission within certain time frames, but the others range from things like not crashing trains, not destroying the environment to lay new tracks, or never sending a train to the wrong stop. If you want Train Valley 2 to give you a challenge and make you really brainstorm over the optimal strategy per stage, it can absolutely be that for you, and you'll have a great time with it. For me, however, the stars don't really matter. Train Valley 2 is like going home again. A way to escape from everything, turn my brain off, and just enjoy sending trains from one place to the other with some light hemming and hawing about how to do so. Just like I did as a kid. It's very easy to look at, and the music fits perfectly. It's just so consuming. About a quarter of the way through the game, you really have to pause and start examining the layout at the beginning of each stage to really figure out how you're going to meet its demands. This place here needs some cows. Okay, fair enough. To get some cows, we need... Grain. Yes, grains make cows. You didn't know that? So you send some workers over to the grain building to manufacture grain, which you ship off to the cow building. You also have to make sure you send a workforce over to the cow building so the people can turn the grain into cows. And this is just one of the easier recipes, as usually doing these tasks involves balancing your income and making sure five or more of your trains are efficiently running across the map without running into each other. Like I mentioned, you can upgrade your trains, but if you've only upgraded, say, two of your trains, they're going to move faster than your standard engines and may collide with the slower ones. So on top of it all, even when you've made a move to make things easier on you, you may actually be making things more complicated for yourself. You can also hasten the game's speed if the pace is a bit slow for you, so if you do this, that's another frantic layer you can add to the equation. This all comes together in a great way. If you enjoy puzzle games that don't feel impossible, this is the game for you. I haven't gotten all the way through Train Valley 2 yet, so I'm not 100% sure what other mechanics get layered in as it progresses, but I am 100% sure that I'm looking forward to them. Train Valley 2 is the kind of game I love. One that's perfect to just come back to now and then and chip away at it. I have 7 hours in it, and I know I'll be getting quite a few more out of it. I'm at stage 20 out of 50, and they've definitely started to get tricky. The game also has Steam Workshop support, and there are tons of custom user-made levels to check through. I'm really excited to try some of them after I've gotten through what the studio has provided here. If you're feeling really spunky, you can be one of the people putting together your own levels for others to play on top of it all. When it's not on sale, Train Valley 2's full price is only $15, which is a huge bargain. There hasn't been a minute of Train Valley 2 that hasn't put a smile on my face. A fair portion of that is owed due to my childhood love of trains and Train Town Deluxe, of course. In this age of spiritual successors and remakes of old games, I think I just didn't realize how much I needed something to build off of that childhood fascination. Putting that nostalgic bias aside, though, there's still a great experience here that I think just about anyone can enjoy. There's just something inherently satisfying about guiding trains around and watching them do their thing through all of these cute maps. 
And while I was never aiming for any of the time requirements, I always felt accomplished when I did manage to get one without trying. If you want something that's light on the surface with a real challenge to complete, you really can't go wrong here. At the time of this video's upload, this game is actually part of the Steam Summer Sale for 25% off, and seems to go on sale pretty frequently, so you can get an even better deal for your dollar to hour ratio. I'm just really glad a game like this exists, and while I know this review has been a bit on the lighter side, I really just wanted to make it to let you know that this game exists. Thanks again to Flasm for the review key, and thank you, the viewer, for checking this video out. If this video got you interested in Train Valley 2, or if you know of any other great train games you'd like to talk about, let us know in the comment section. And if you liked this video, giving it a thumbs up and subscribing if you're new will really help this channel grow. Until next time, take care. I also, as always, want to give a big thank you to my patrons for their ongoing support. Thanks, y'all.